ओम श्री परमात्मने नमः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमत देहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम वसुदेव सुत देव कंसचाड़ूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगदुरु डिय डिवाइन सेल्फ्स ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ऑफ डिसंबर इज वन ऑफ द होलीएस्ट डेज इन सनातन धर्मास कैलेंडर this 22nd of december that is the coming friday we are celebrating geeta jayanti more than 5000 years ago on the <coughs> on this day the geeta jayanti that the sung the song celestial song divine was narrated or told to fortunate privileged arjuna by none none other than lord krishna so from today i am beginning english exposition on 13th chapter of shrimad bhagavad gita 13th chapter of shrimad bhagavad gita is dearest to me because in it encapsulates this one chapter of shrimad bhagavad gita titled chhatra chhatragya vibhaga yoga essentially encapsulates the entire teachings of advaita vedanta lord krishna himself tells in one of the verses that the real knowledge of kshetra and kshetragya is true knowledge and that is the ultimate revelation of entire vedic literature so let's begin and for me especially shrimad bhagavad gita or any scripture which is not taking me directly to my essential nature i don't spend much of time or energy forget about giving these courses on that so in last month during last month our fourth self realization retreat that was held in haridwar rishikesh i gave a this detailed exposition of the entire chapter in hindi because the devotees who participated or the seekers of self who participated in that self realization retreat were essentially hindi speaking and therefore i exposed in 7 days all the shloka of 13th chapter and thereby revealed the essence of all vedas and vedanta so for the benefit of the english speaking seekers and devotees i am beginning the same chapter in english because many of the seekers for long time haven't heard me giving any discourse in english 
I think for last one year. So for some time I'm going to speak only in English and those of you who want to understand the essence, the meaning, the exposition of the 13th chapter in Hindi, it's already available in, on our YouTube channel. So this essentially is aimed at English speaking seekers of self-realization. So let's begin. And as I have told you, any scripture for me especially unless and until it reveals the ultimate glory of the supreme reality and takes me directly to the core and heart of that supreme reality, I don't spend much of time, forget about giving these courses. So I already told you that I find this 13th chapter so enchanting, so elevating because La, many of the shlokas of 13th chapter directly take you to the innermost reality and the highest truth that is ever present immediately. And my purpose in this exposition of the 13th chapter of Bhagavad Gita is the same that this is not going to be just a mere recitation and mainly rendering or exposition or bhashya or commentary, no. The ultimate objective of Sravana manana nidhidhyasana that is listening, reflecting and reflective meditation on any verse of Vedantic literature is self-realization. So today itself, the first day itself, I will take that route. In the beginning, I will recite a couple of slokas and their English rendering simple meaning and little bit of explanation and thereafter I will try to go directly and I will try to help you and take you to directly at the core of your reality that is ordinarily called immediate intuitive self-realization tatkal atma bodha aparakshana bhuti so today itself we will practice that every discourse will end with nidhi dhyasan reflective meditation of mission and realization of that supreme truth knowing which the mortal becomes immortal, ephemeral becomes eternal, perishable becomes imperishable. And it leads to final liberation from the chain of sorrows and sufferings and attainment of absolute love, bliss and beauty that each one of us are seeking every moment through every action, whether mental, verbal or physical. Mind you, there is not a single jiva in the universe ever who is transgressing this fundamental law of life. What is that most fundamental principle of life, governing life? Each one of us, beginning from the cosmic 
माइंड कॉल और कॉस्मिक फर्स्ट कॉस्मिक पर्सन कॉल ब्रह्मा टू द मिनिस्ट ऑफ वॉम्स विदाउट एक्सेप्शन आर ऑलवेज सिकिंग सीशेशन एंड ऑफ ऑल सरोज सफरिंग्स अफ्लिक्शंस एंड इनसिक्योरिटीज एंड अटेनमेंट ऑफ अनकंडीशनल लव इनफिनिट ब्लिस एंड एवर लास्टिंग ब्यूटी दैट इज द मोस्ट फंडामेंटल इन एवरी जीवर्स नेचर हैविंग नोन दिस लेट्स इम्बार्क ऑन दिस जर्नी वेयर बाई नोइंग वन वी एंड अप नोइंग ऑल एंड एटेनिंग वन वी एंड अप एटेनिंग ऑल एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड गॉड रियलाइजेशन सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन ब्रह्मन रियलाइजेशन और इन लाइटेनमेंट नॉलेज ऑफ द सुप्रीम ट्रूथ इज नथिंग बट नॉलेज ऑफ योर ओन ट्रू नेचर गॉड रियलाइजेशन और ब्रह्मन रियलाइजेशन इज नथिंग बट रियलाइजेशन ऑफ माई ओन ट्रू नेचर इफ आई नो माई सेल्फ इन totality in reality i end up knowing everything everyone that is brahma gyana brahma and shrimad bhagavad gita as it is it's a brahma vidya brahma vidya to reveal and expose the true nature of the ultimate reality is the ultimate objective of brahma vidya mind you you can earn money there are shlokas which can help you bring some degree of peace of mind or some material wealth some success in material sense but upanishads and shrimad bhagavad gita are essentially fundamentally brahma vidya divine knowledge whereby we understand we know we realize the essential nature of the supreme reality that is transcendent and immanent both thereby i am not interested in bringing or dwelling on those verses which some of people or the exponents of bhagavad gita bring before you which and whereby they would promise you well-being the peace of mind some money how to gain some power some pelf this is not the intent this is this worst kind of sacrilege against lord krishna and shrimad bhagavad gita shrimad bhagavad gita i again repeat it essentially aiming at revealing the supreme truth of the universe and supreme nature of yours me and everything and everyone so right now right here through this श्रीमद भगवद गीता डिस्कोर्सेस ऑन थर्टीन चैप्टर एंड देयर वाई दिस इज माय सेलिब्रेशन यू कैन ज्वाइन दिस सेलिब्रेशन सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ गीता जयंती 2023 आई एम सेलिब्रेटिंग फॉर माय प्योर जॉय एंड यू कैन बी पार्ट ऑफ दैट यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम बाय Or taking of this divine nectar, the divine nectar whereby Lord Krishna reveals that milk glory of the supreme Lord. Let me come to the point, and this is what I intend to answer this today. Who is Lord Krishna, or who is God, and how to see Him, how to realize Him? This is the question today I am putting before you and putting before me. and this we are going to understand in the words of lord krishna through shrimad bhagavad gita 
and our own personal understanding and empirical instances and anecdotes may be helpful. So let's now begin the 13th chapter of Srimad Bhagavad Gita to celebrate this year's Gita Jayanti and this series of discourses is meant for English audience. The Hindi discourses on this chapter are already available on our YouTube channel. So, Lord Krishna begins 13th chapter after Arjuna asks the Lord, O Lord, tell me the true nature of Purusha and Prakriti, the self and the matter, nature, and also the nature of Chetra and Chetragya, the body and the knower of the body. Kindly tell me, impart me that knowledge. I am desirous, I beseech you, I pray you, impart that knowledge of Purush and Prakriti. Purush is the Supreme Self, the pure consciousness and Prakriti, the nature. In other words, Brahma and Maya and also the nature of Chetra and Chetragya. Chetra means the body and Chetragya means knower of the body. O Lord, tell me the true meaning, the true essence and the true nature of Purush and Prakriti, Chetra and Chetragya. And thereafter, this verse is missing in most of the Gita Press, Gita, Gita Press published Srimad Bhagavad Gita. But this was the question asked by Arjuna and thereafter, the Lord answers and the first verse is this. O Arjuna, now the Lord begins to expose the nature of Purush and Prakriti, that is Supreme Self and Nature, Brahma and Maya, and also Chetra and Chetragya, that is this body, and Chetragya, that is knower of the body. And thereafter, the Lord begins the answer. Lord Krishna says, Idam shariram kaunteya chetra mitya vidhiyate. Idam shariram kaunteya chetra mitya vidhiyate. Etadyo vetitam praho. Chetragya iti tadvidaha. This is the first verse. And the second verse, we will take up only two verses. And through these two verses alone, we will go straight to the supreme reality. I promise. Wait patiently. Second verse, Lord says, Chetragyam chapi maam vidhi sarvak chetre shubharata chetra chetragya yor gyanam yatat gyanam matam mama. Lord says that, O oh Arjuna, this body, the body starting from the body of Brahma, the first cosmic person, to the meanest worms smallest insects and our body. All bodies are called Chetra, Filda and the knower of the body, the field is called Chetragya. Idam shariram kaunteya Chetra mitya vidhiyate etad yoveti tampraho Chetragya iti tadvidaha. Very simple. Understand it. This is the most fundamental. Lord says, O Arjuna, 
the knowers of the reality, the supreme truths, the knowers. He is referring to the rishis, the seers, the philosophers, the enlightened masters. He is referring to that those enlightened masters who have realized the true nature of the Purush and Prakriti, the Supreme Self and Nature, and also Chetra and Chetragya, the bodies, the nature of the body and the nature of the Chetragya, the knower of the body, the one who knows this body, the functioning of the body, the activities of the body. This, the knower of this ultimate reality, they call this body as Chetra and the knower of knowers of the body as Chetragya. This is the first verse. This have, you have to keep in mind because in the rest of the verses, the Lord is only explaining the true natures, the elements of Chetragya, Chetra and Chetragya. Chetra means field. Chetragya means the knower of the field. Why is this body? Let us come to our own body. Human body. Why is this body called Chetra, field? It is referred to or called Chetra because of the reason that this human body in Vedic literature and philosophy is regarded as the place where or filled where the seeds of actions good or bad seeds of actions remember good or bad both punya and papa the seeds of action are sown by the individual soul and they are ripped as the fruits of their actions as pleasure and pain, sukh and dukha. What is the bija seed? What is the seed that is sown by the individual soul in this body and through this body? That is the action, good action, bad action, papa and punya. And the good action leads to pleasant experiences, present result and bad actions, vicious actions lead to papa, leads to dukkha, misery, suffering, sorrow. So, this body indeed is the field or place where the individual soul sows the seeds of good and bad actions and rifts the harvest of pleasant and sorrowful fruits. That is why this body is called Chetra Filder and so O Arjuna first know that your own body, this body come to your own body, this body and similarly all the bodies in the universe without exception. All these bodies are called by the knowers of supreme reality as Chetra that is filled and it is known as Chetra because in this body, through this body, this body becomes the medium of good and bad actions and thereafter this body alone reaps the harvest of pleasant and unpleasant or sorrowful results of those actions. So, O Arjuna, know your own body, your own body as Chetra. And Chetragya, who is Chetragya? The knower of the body. This body of ours, each one of us has a body, so we have this Chetra. But who is the knower of the body? Here begins the metaphysical inquiry. 
these five fingers i'm raising my palm who knows that this palm or my body organs or my entire body is filled that understood but there are two fingers only all the fingers are visible who knows this the one who essentially knows it ultimately knows it it's not eyes it's not mind the one individual self or individual soul who knows the functions activities of the body and also animates this body functions that is chatragya the knower of the body so we have to know two things chatra and chatragya our bodies are chatra and the knower that is jivatman the individual soul is chatragya which essentially it will come later which essentially is that chatra Tragya is essentially after after realization of the true nature of the chetragya. This jivatman is non-different, non-separate, essentially one with Paramatman. So this individual self that is called chetragya is essentially. one with supreme self that will come later he will explain in the next verse itself in the next verse itself that is the second verse of 13th chapter he will hurl down a thunderbolt on the ignorance of the jiva by declaring chat the the verse of lord krishna and about your reality about mine reality about the reality of the entire universe this is the most powerful verse listen carefully chetragyam chapi maam vidhe sarva kshetre shu bharata chetra chetragya yor gyanam ya tat gyanam matam mama I began this with asking a fundamental question where is god or lord krishna or paramatman or brahman how can we see perceive realize either lord krishna or paramatman or brahman or sachidananda the supreme self these are different names lord krishna here in shrimad bhagavad gita is not speaking as son of devaki no as supreme self sachidananda mind you that's why there is not a single verse in shrimad bhagavad gita where you would find shri krishna vacha no 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 where would you find shri krishna vacha it's always bhagavan vacha that is supreme lord the sachidananda the eternal existence of the nature of pure consciousness which is intrinsically blissful that supreme truth that paramatman the lord supreme is narrating this metaphysical wisdom to his dearest friend and disciple arjuna so keep this in mind and now he is revealing the greatest secret of all metaphysics he is saying what is your question where is god where is krishna it's a matter of faith only it's a matter of belief only there is no god there is no sachidananda there is no krishna it is just the leela the playground and the stories in the scriptures we normally even if those who believe in the existence of the lord would like to believe that okay somewhere up in the heaven the lord is sitting or lord krishna came in dwapar played some role and re- returned back to his own goloka dhama or some special abode no that is 
totally bogus understanding in vedic literature that supreme reality as narrated by upanishads and the same supreme truth is being revealed by lord krishna that is that is most important for you lord krishna is now declaring that chetragyam chapi mam vidhe chet sarva kshetre shubharat o arjuna no the chetragya in all the bodies as me myself i am present lord krishna is saying as bhagavan as brahman as sachidananda not somebody who incarnated for a certain period of time with a specific purpose but the supreme transcendent reality which appears as immanent infinite chain of the names and forms that transcendent reality he is revealing that chetragyam chapi mam vidhe sarva kshetre shubharat o arjuna i alone am present as chetragya the knower of the body in all the bodies of the universe see the gravity see the greatness see the import of this single verse क्षेत्रज्ञम चापि माम विधि सर्व क्षेत्र शुभ भारत इन एवरी बॉडी वेदर द बॉडी ऑफ द ब्रह्मा विष्णु महेश और द डीमंस और द ह्यूमंस और द इंसेक्ट्स और एनिमल ऑल द लिविंग बीइंग्स ऑल द जीवास हैव द नोअर क्षेत्रज्ञ इन देमसेल्फ द नोइंग प्रिंसिपल कैन यू टेल मी even if you are the most stupid person of the planet is there ever absence of your knowing power never never whether you are the enlightened one or the most entrapped one stupid one whether you are the richest one or the most miserable one the knowing the knowing power within every body is ever present reality and that chatragya is nothing but the knower of that field the knower of the body in me i am raising the fingers i am lowering down the fingers i know that which language i am speaking this being this speech is function of the tongue with the help of the mind and intellect but who is the knower who is the knower who is guiding governing right now right here right now realize i told you i promised you that right in the beginning in every word in every verse with the grace of the lord i see that supreme reality and right now right here this is not next day next moment the actions of the organs unless and until you know what you want to do i am raising this finger sir and what i am speaking so this is essentially function of knowing this is called knowing so the knower must be there who is governing what to speak how long to speak why i am speaking there must be a knower in every body and that knower is according to lord krishna shrimad bhagavad gita none other than lord himself the supreme self the supreme self the sachidananda here lord krishna is when he say chetragyam chapi mam vidhi i myself not my atom not my fraction not my reflection i myself am sitting in every individual body a chetragya not my attendant not my devotee not my staff or servant i myself see the width and depth of this spiritual wisdom so simple straight that can transform your life
right now right here that lord krishna whom you have been seeking chanting mantras propitiating through visiting all the tirthas sacred places is ever present within you as the knowing principle at chhatragya as the one who is knowing and animating anything and everything in your body and outside your body that's what he's saying chhatragya means the consciousness principle unless the consciousness principle is present within me how can i speak how can even i sit even idle how can i move my fingers or arms how can my intellect or mind speak and how it decides what to speak which language to speak what is the meaning what is the intent what is the object of this speech or discourse there is a knower and that knower is none other than sachidanand ghana brahma lord himself is ever present within every chhatra that is every body in this universe either knowing principle that is consciousness principle awareness principle in its essence in its true nature so he is saying see the revolutionary radical revelation we have been seeking god from millennia somewhere in some other life somewhere in after penance or tapasya after millions of births the god will shower mercy no this is your ignorance the lord the god the brahman the parmatman is ever present within every single body of the universe i the knower chhatragya and tell me whether you are whether it's the body of the brahma vishnu mahesh or human being or enlightened one or criminal or a terrorist or a scholar or a stupid rich or poor or an insect whether tiger or cow or buffalo or cat or mouse or insect or ant or mosquito or squirrel the knowing principle is ever present within a squirrel mosquito ant tiger crocodile man woman good by dagli that is the supreme self the paramatman the brahman is an ever present reality as knowing principle the knower within you and the knower within me is none other than lord krishna in his transcendent nature as sachidananda is there a great news a greater news a bigger news or a vaster revelation other than this that the lord the supreme truth the god the supreme reality the brahman whatever we give the name is not a remote reality to be attained or sought after is not a reality to be realized next moment but that reality is appearing as a distant remote reality because of our sheer ignorance of the true nature of the lord the, there is nothing as intimate as near as close to us than the lord himself as the knowing principle and till now i am saying the knowing principle or chhatragya but that is none the chhatragya is none other than your i the atman your own atman 
दिस इज अ टेक्निकल टर्म ही इज यूजिंग क्षेत्र एंड क्षेत्रज्ञा क्षेत्रज्ञा इज नथिंग अदर देन द आत्मन ऑफ माइंड द आत्मन ऑफ योर्स इज क्षेत्रज्ञा एंड दैट जीवात्मन ओनली ड्यू टू इग्नोरेंस थिंग्स इट सेल्फ सेपरेट डिफरेंट रिमोट फ्रॉम परमात्मन द सुप्रीम सेल्फ वंस द इग्नोरेंस इज डिस्पेल्ड एंड योर ट्रू नेचर द नेचर ऑफ द नोअर द नोइंग प्रिंसिपल क्षेत्रज्ञा इज रिविल टू यू एंड देन यू प्रैक्टिस कंटेम्पलेट एंड रियलाइज दैट सुप्रीम रियालिटी देन यू कम टू नो दैट क्षेत्रज्ञा एंड दैट इज द नोअर द इंडिविजुअल सोल एंड सुप्रीम सेल्फ द इंडिविजुअल सेल्फ एंड सुप्रीम सेल्फ आर वन एंड द सेम सो ही सेंग क्षेत्रज्ञम चापी माम विधे सर्व क्षेत्रेशु भारत क्षेत्र क्षेत्रज्ञानम यम मतम मम so what he is saying again i'll sim- put in simple words o arjuna i am present as chitragya in all the bodies of the universe chitragyam chapi mam vidhi sarva chitra shubharata o arjuna no me as present as the knower of all fields i am present there as the knowing principle the knower the atman in simple terms the atman in all chetra that is the deha the bodies chetragyam chapi mam vidhi sarvak chetre shu bharata chetra chetragya yorgyanam yatat gyanam matam mama o arjuna the true knowledge of the correct nature of the chhatra that is body and chhatragya the atman is in my opinion the ultimate knowledge the true knowledge lord krishna is saying in my opinion in my understanding lord krishna is saying the lord bhagwan is saying the sachidanand is saying that the knowledge of the body and the knower of the body is essentially true knowledge why because it alone fulfills all our dreams and desires what in ordinary co- terms called moksha liberation from what liberation in vedanta is a technically defined term moksha liberation from the chain of death birth sorrow suffering miseries and attainment of absolute bliss eternal love unconditional love everlasting beauty there is only one word ananda in vedanta there is no true english translation they ordinarily translate it bliss but it's a vast meaning of the word ananda so every jiva in every action every moment is seeking nothing but cessation of sorrows sufferings fears insecurities deprivations and attainment of absolute bliss in infinite love bliss and beauty each one of us is seeking and this knowledge by this knowledge alone the knowledge of the true nature of chhatra and chhatragya that is the true nature of the body what elements it is made of what is the characteristics what is the nature of this body and what is the nature of true nature of chetragya chetragya the knower within you and me that is the ultimate objective of entire metaphysics to know the nature of the jiva the jiva because of the ignorance of the true nature of the jiva is always feeling living a life of sorrow suffering fear insecurity thinking and regarding oneself as nothing but aggregate of this flesh blood and bones five elements it's made of 
and it was born and it would die. We are always scared. We are always afraid of losing this body any moment. But this is only because of ignorance about our true nature. Our true nature is nothing but what Lord Krishna said in now I'll simplify those things what he said when he's saying that oh Arjuna know me alone as present in as Chhatragya in all the bodies what he's saying as Atman Jiva Jiva Atman the Jiva and Jiva Atman the, the body the Deha de, Dehi of the Deha Shariri of the Sharira the living principle, the life principle, the consciousness principle, the sentience principle, the knowing principle within you is called Atman. And that is none other than Paramatman. In true nature, its supreme reality, not fractured, limited by the principles of time, space and causation. The principles, the principles of time, space and causation are effective only in the realm of matter, prakriti, that is chetra in the body. But the knower of the body, chetragya, is free from the principles of time, space and causation. That is, this body is subject to birth and death, sorrow, suffering pleasure and pain, but the knower, essential knower, the Atman within, when dissociated, the association of this body and the Atman caused out of error. Error about our true nature has led to belief or misbelief that I am this body and this body is mind and this body alone is the ultimate reality, the supreme reality. Now with the knowledge that is being imparted under the rubric of Brahma Vidya titled Srimad Bhagavad Gita, one chapter only, 13th chapter I am revealing before you. He is revealing like a thunderbolt upon your ignorance. The realm of ignorance will be destroyed immediately because the Brahman alone is present. The Paramatman, the Lord Krishna is speaking as Paramatman, that is Bhagavan. Brahmeti Paramatmeti Bhagavaniti Shabdhyate in Srimad Bhagavatam Shukadeva says. Vadanti Vadanti Yat Tattva Vidaha Yat Tattvam Jnana Madhvayam Brahmeti Paramatmeti Bhagavaneti Shabdhyati The Bhagavan, the Brahman, the Paramatman, Atman all, and Bhagavan all the are different names of that pure consciousness that is Chatragya and that is Atman. In association with this body it is called Chetragya the Jivatman. The moment you dissociate your this this chetra, this body from you, your Atman, you are right now, right here, Paramatman, as the knowing principle, as the pure consciousness. That is what we are going to contemplate. Now we have understood what Lord Krishna is trying to say. What is our objective? Our objective is as whether you are a believer or non-believer, it's the most scientific definition of moksha or liberation, liberation, finding the innate, most innate desire of every being. That is, we never want any kind of sorrow, suffering or misery and we are always in search of love, bliss and beauty. And attainment of these both twin objectives is called moksha and the same is called as enlightenment or self-realization, God-realization, Brahman-realization because ultimately and essentially the jiva who out of ignorance thinks that he or she is subject to the principle of death and birth, misery and pleasure, all kind of sufferings, indignities, is because of ignorance. The all limitations belong to this prakriti. 
दैट इज माया दैट इज क्षेत्र एंड आई एम इसेंशियली वेन आई एम सेंग आई द आत्मन इज नथिंग बट आई द लॉर्ड कृष्णा इज आई सिंप्लीफाई नाउ एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट राइट नाउ राइट हियर लॉर्ड कृष्णा दैट इज परमात्मन सचिदानंद घन ब्रह्म आई आस्क द क्वेश्चन वेर इज लॉर्ड कृष्णा वेर इज गॉड वेर इज परमात्मन we are going to experience that supreme reality right now right here in it's not my personal declaration it's another matter i have realized it i understand it directly intuitively immediately but right now if you are paying attention you are sincere enough right now right here you would realize you perceive that supreme reality whether you call as Lord Krishna or Bhagavan or Paramatman or Brahman, that supreme reality in the words of Lord Krishna is ever present within you, within me, as Atman. And what is Atman? Knower of the body, the body functions. The knower includes the one who is animating principle, energizing principle, the one who is governing anything and everything of the body. Paramatman is right now, right here, present. The raising of the fingers or the hand, the lowering of the hands, the speech. It is being governed by the knowing principle that is chetragya and free from the association with this body. That is Paramatman. That is Atman. So, Brahman, the Paramatman. and i parmatman is present within you not as finger not as head not as leg or any body part body or body part then the god could be severed thrown away separated but this is very important thing to remember the god the lord the brahman is ever present within every body every jiva as none other than the atman the essence the fundamental the substratum of your existence is not one part of your existence it is the essence of entire existence experience and life principle of yours mind this you need a little intelligent mind which can inquire if the lord is present just as the finger or palm as the head or mouth or leg or then the lord the god the paramatman could be severed could be separated but as lord krishna declared chhatragyam chaapi maam vidhe sarva chhatreshu bharata in all the individual bodies he is not present as the bodies but essentially as the knowing principle the pure consciousness within the atman as atman i am using different words in order to make you understand in simple words that atman alone is called pure consciousness the brahman in vedanta is simply called pure consciousness shuddha bodha roopa and that is called chhetragya in context of the jiva the jivatmana so your chhetragya is nothing but paramatmana the atmana now you tell me whether you are a atheist or a believer or agnostic do you know a single person whose life whose body is free from or bereft of the knowing principle chhetragya that is atman and that atman is manifesting within you as what now i have told you that lord krishna himself is very emphatically clearly saying that i am present in all the bodies at chhetragya what is chhetragya right now still for most of the people chhetragya is what no first thing i told you that no that lord krishna alone is appearing as chhetragya means atman and still atman is a word for most of the people so i'll further simplify it beyond which you would won't need any clarification that atman is nothing 
and that Chhatragya is nothing and that Paramatman is nothing but ever shining, ever illumining the sense of I, I consciousness, I, I, aham vritti, aham pratyay, aham pratyay, ever shining, I, I, that I in its pure nature is Atman and in ultimate reality that alone is Paramatman. So Paramatman, the Bhagavan, Brahman is ever present within me and ever shining as I, 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 I know, who knows? Who knows this body? Still, I have been talking in second person. But go there and delve and jump into the misadventurous inquiry of this transcendent self. This knower is anybody else knowing? Now see, I am saying this Chhatragya or Atman is the knowing principle that is Krishna. But where and who? I tell me, I am knowing, I am recording this video, this on this channel, I am moving my hands. Who? Who is other than the knowing principle? Aham, 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 I, I, I. This is the direct, this is the direct method of immediate intuitive self-realization and we will contemplate for a while, I will help you that 13th chapter titled Chhatra and Chhatragya we have started and Lord Krishna himself tells you that he is present and he refers to the Brahman Paramatman Supreme Reality in the bodies of all the jivas as jiva principle, as jivatmana. The jivatman and paramatman are one and the same. Once you know the nature of the jivatman, but due to ignorance, still we will have to say that jivatman and paramatman are separate chhatragya. But that knowing principle, the knower within you and the knower within me. Who is the knower? Who knows the functions of your body, the pain in your, in your fingers or near your head or stomach or hand or finger? Who knows? Who knows the pleasure and pain in the body? Who, who knows the sad, full, sorrowful mind and mischievous mind and pleasant mind, I am in good mood, I am in bad mood, the one who says I am in good mood, the one pers that person has identified himself as the mind, but essentially he is the seer of the mind, therefore he can't be mind and he is the witness of the mind, that is I, I see the states of my mind, whether I, the mind is peaceful or restless or pleasant or sorrowful. I see whether my body is strong or weak in pleasant state or painful state. Every single organ of my body, I know, I know, I, 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 this I is Chhatragya and in reality once I dissociate this I, I is not an organ, I. This is what Lord Krishna, Chhatragyam Chapi Maam Vidhi Sarva Chhatre Shubharata Maam Mahi. I alone am present as the knower in the all bodies of the universe and who is knower other than I. So Lord, the Brahman, the Paramatman is ever present within you and me as I, I, Aham Pratyay ever shining as I. Now come to the point. Our ultimate objective is God realization, Brahman realization, enlightenment. That is knowing our true nature and our true nature is in essence, in reality, at the core of my existence. I am Brahman, I am Paramatman, I am Supreme Self, I am none other than Lord Krishna. The Satchidananda, I am eternal existence. 
I am of the nature of pure consciousness and blissfulness is inherent and intrinsic to me. Contemplate right now, right here, with go deep within yourself and see the seer, see the seer, they are simple words I am uttering, but they can bring a radical change to your existence right now, right here. The entire essence I am going to reveal before you is science and technology of Brahman realization in few words. Sir. Right now we are going to practice, we are going to see, we are going to realize our true nature of I. What is the true nature of mind, I, mind? Is it leg or head or body or mind? This I is ever present, I is ever shining, I am, I am, I am, I am. Is there anyone ever whose I is absent uh, even in the sound sleep? If the I was absent for the period of sound sleep of four, six or eight hours, who was there present to testify in the morning that I had a sound sleep for four to six hours? Who was there? It can't be absence. Mind was absent, intellect was absent. None of the body parts or organs, motor organs or perceptual organs were active or alive or working or awake. No. That was that knowing principle Chetragya, which essentially is none but I, Aham, May, May, May. So, Lord Krishna or Satchidananda Ghana Brahma or Brahman or Paramatman, the Supreme Self is is ever present within me as I. I am that supreme reality due to ignorance. I was seeking the supreme reality, the Brahman outside me, some remote reality. It was because of my ignorance. The Lord, the God, the Brahman is my most intimate, immediate, a reality, the first and foremost thing upon which every experience of mind is made possible is none other than the Brahman. Brahman and I are one and the same. That is so hum, so that supreme transcendent Sachidananda Ghana, the pure consciousness alone is appearing or shining as I and I am not of the nature of the aggregate of bodies or body parts, whether the subtle body or gross body, but I am ever shining pure consciousness, that is my true nature, that is the function of Chetragya and the Chetra and the aggregate of all Chetra, that is the entire phenomenal universe is just mere appearance in upon me. I am knowing principle, I am perceiver of the entire universe, I am seer of all. Therefore, see the seer, perceive the perceiver, experience the experience, experiencer. That is the ultimate instruction in Advaita Vedanta. You will take decades and decades to come to this realization, but I am trying to make it simple and easily accessible and available to the seekers that this I, ever shining I within me, alone is the seer, alone is Brahman, the supreme reality. And how to identify, how to know right now and every moment, everywhere, in every perception, the perceiver is Brahman, the ultimate seer is Brahman, the ultimate experiencer is Brahman. Through the equipments of body-mind, the ultimate 
nameless, formless. And who is the perceiver? I am the perceiver. I am the seer. I am the experience. And I told you what to do. What is the technology? What 